Well, good morning. It's our last day, checkout day. Um, I was up bright and early, showered, dressed. We need to pack a few things, load the car. Dogs need their breakfast. So I'm gonna do that now. And then I'm gonna have some breakfast. And then once we checked out, we're gonna make our way over to Weymouth. So we thought we'll make the most of, of the day and um, check out Weymouth. So I'm gonna feed the dogs. So, cause they're just looking at me like, feed me. You bring your food? Yeah, let's do that. Wait. Go on then. Oh, I do so good. They're nice. Tasty. Nom 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 nom. This is the best. Oh, bless them. So we're having some bacon sandwiches because we got some leftover bacon. I'm frying the bacon. You can put it in the grill, but it's just a little bit quicker to fry. I find anyway. Joe's having a cup of tea. See he'll. He's got the kettle on. He's just sorting things out at the moment so that we um, are ready to check out. But yeah. and a cup. Of, he wants a cup of tea. Tea and biscuits. Tea and biscuits. And bacon sandwiches. And bacon sandwiches. There we go. A cup of tea and a bacon sandwich for Joe. Anyway. I'm just having a bacon sandwich. I don't do tea. Not for me. So we're all packed. It's Caravan's sad. clear. It's weird. It's like empty again. It's literally like just yesterday. Well, it feels like yesterday that we were here. I think we've left it quite tidy. Yeah, we've tidy right now. Considering, you know. Yeah. And we've even sprayed around, so. It doesn't smell too much of dogs. <laughs> but yeah. Leave it as you'd like to find it, I say. Um, so yeah, so we need to lock up, drop the keys off, um, and then we're done. So let's uh, head over to Weymouth. Are you ready to go to Weymouth and then go home? We'll go home? Yeah. We don't want to go home. Daddy doesn't want to go home. <laughs> right, lock it up. All done. All locked. Five minutes early, in fact. There we go. One five seven West Acre. Ready, girls? Right, we're gonna quickly take these from the block. Yep. Drop off some poo bags. Drop off some poo bags, and then we'll um. We'll be leaving. Right, let's go. Driving out. It's sad. Have a safe yeah. journey. And I'm going to pop my keys in the little box on the way out. Yeah. Over the bumps. Yeah, I'm not enjoying going over the bumps. So you can just hear everything in the back of <laughs> Yeah. There we go. Is it just dropping the keys in the little thing? Yeah, express the express checkout. Check as simple as that. Literally, just drop them in there. Bye. There we go. Life. Oh, done. <clears throat> They're nice caravans. I These do like them. Nice. I don't know if I'd like to be right here at the front though. No, because there's not really much to look out at. Oh. Uh, there you go. Bye. It's been nice. Hey, it's been lovely. Yeah. So we've made it to Weymouth Beach. It's very blowy. Oh, Come on in. The girls are off. There we go. Heck. <laughs> 
<laughs> Look at these two. Look at them. Daft just wants to chase the bird. <laughs> Daft! Go treat! Good girl! Good girl! Good girl! You have a good run! <laughs> yeah? Piggy, piggy! piggy. You've been sandy? Yes! Good girls! <laughs> And be good girls, okay? Be good girls. You're going away. Get on the beach. <laughs> good girls. That's the famous clock tower. Oh, it's it cool. And it says here, erected to commemorate the jubilee of the reign of Her Majesty Queen Victoria. It's crazy, considering we're gonna celebrate the jubilee of Queen Elizabeth. Oh, wow. Hello. Bit of training going on there. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that is scary. Well, if that was coming towards you on like a <laughs> battle board run, I'd cut my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Sit with the pugs. <laughs> Hi. Have a little rest? Yeah? Chill. Have a little chill? <laughs> yeah. Have a little chill? You having a little chill? <laughs> Are you having a little chill? <laughs> These are so old, aren't they? <laughs> Very old-fashioned. But a seat is a seat. Oh, it's very windy again. Sun's breaking through a bit more now. Some sand sculptures. Beauty and the Beast. Cool, well, isn't it? Yeah. Is that just made from the sand on the beach? I think it's made with different sand. I think they've got them for the money there. Yeah. Well, Possibly the finest sand in the world. Possibly? Possibly. Possibly. A grain of Weymouth sand is under half the size of an average sand particle and is only just classified as sand. Just classified as sand. Grains. Yeah, 0 0.09 millimetres smaller would be classified as silt, which is a cohesive material. Yeah. Not Cogsworth, Lumiere. Plenty of B&Bs. If you want to come down for the night. I do like Weymouth. Yeah, no, it's starting to... um. The mist is starting to like break away now because you can see over. Very pretty. And then you get make your way around to the harbour. It's a pretty little harbour really, isn't it? Oh, a bit of road works. <laughs> We've left Weymouth, the girls are excited, and we've had a little visit to Portland Bill. Have you been uh, here before? I've been here once before, but I don't think I got out. I think I literally just drove here and was like, huh. It's a lighthouse. A lighthouse. Okay, bye. And then went back. 
Yeah, so we're gonna have a little walk around, and then oh. um, then that's it. I might go up the lighthouse. I don't know yet. Oh, we'll see how much it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Let's have a little walk and wonder. So he's gonna do the tour. Yeah, so Joe is currently making his way up Portland Bill Lighthouse. Um, I'm here with the dogs and hopefully we'll get to the top and we'll be able to see him. So that is what he's climbing up. There's a bit of a tour beforehand. He's got the camera, so I'm on my phone a minute. So it's just me and the pugs. Hey girls. Yeah, he's going right up there. He's never done it before, so it should be fun for him. Hey girls. Yeah. You're loving it. It's so cool. There's the lighthouse. Joey's not there yet. But he will be. Isn't it? All the different shipwrecks that have happened on this coast. That's why we've got a lighthouse here. Wow. There's, there's quite a few sh shipwrecks. How many in total? One, two, Maybe. three, four, five, all six. Of these are, oh, wow, oh, this is them all here. Them. Yeah, all of these. Wow. So hundreds is your answer. Was this before the lighthouse was built? Or? This is one of the reasons why they put lighthouses here. Right. So all okay. around England, Kirby says, well, okay. <laughs> all around England, um, if from about 1500 to 1600, there were yeah. more boats and ships. So wow. this is the original lens. So, so this would have been right at the top. Until a couple of years ago. Yeah, so that was the original one and it was brought down from Birmingham, a place called Smethwick. There was a little factory up there that made lighthouse lenses all around the world. Wow. And it weighs three and a half tons, like a huge big bull elephant. How the hell do they get it up there? Yeah, in bits. Right. So if you come round that and look, you can kind of see how thick the glass is, it's really deep and dense glass. And the metal is like a gun metal. Yeah. That um, doesn't... Um, Melt in the heat. Last summer it was 47 degrees at the top in August on the hottest day. Wow. It gets very hot up there. Yeah. How many steps is it? Do you know? It's 155. It used to be 153. Okay. God, I hate to be afraid of heights. Yeah. So if the light bulb went in the middle of the night, they'd have a lever to change it over so they didn't have to climb inside. Yeah. That used to float like a duck oh, on your bar, so it used to float on mercury. Oh, that it used to turn good. around. Yeah. Whoa. Well, that's right there. So that's the um, obelisk, which is um, called a day marker. So that was there before the lighthouse because there's rock and just underneath the water here, up to 30 metres out. So that was to stop people being shipwrecked in this corner. Okay. If you look through here, we're going to see there's a light bulb, an object, and a lens. Oh yeah, you can see it. So that shines out at oh. night, a red light, to stop um, boats and ships from um, crashing into the rock at night. So down, down the bottom we the lens. Yep. That object was there, that was on top. So that was filled with equipment, and so was this. There was equipment everywhere. Yeah. So it started off being oil fueled. If you look down that hole, you can look again into the river below. Uh, yeah. That's the lens that we just seen. Yeah. yeah, so it used to be paraffin to start with, and then electric came along. So in the late 1930s, it's electric. Yeah. And then there was a diesel engine down the bottom, so if there was a power plant, they could start that up. And then up here were huge batteries, like big batteries. So this one was called the battery flat. So nowadays, it's a bit similar to powering your phone. Yeah. Because in here, you've got one 24 volt battery in a standby system and that powers the whole lighthouse. And then you've got another one in there. And they work for two days, 48 hours. So you've got plenty of time if anything goes wrong. But that's amazing because it's just one of those. Yeah. Do you need to, do they need to be changed or anything? They just need to be charged. Like charged, charge your phone. right. Okay. Wow. So this is the original foghorn. So we've had three. Three here. Yep. This was the original it was operational until just 2017. And it was a really deep, low sound that could go out six or seven miles. 
and um, then they had a little replacement in the window temporarily, and now I've got one up on the balcony. Right. But this was quite impressive. This is the original one. Yes. Yeah. And it used to take about 20 minutes to get it going. So it was at the top and it was foggy. You had to go all the way down the bottom. And they had to do wheels and cogs and put oil in it and get it going. Yeah. And then um, and basically it was a low diaphragm sound, really big F, like booming sound. And I'm going to play it on the speaker. So I don't want okay. to I, don't want to I was going to say, you weren't going to put it on in there. <laughs> Well, they've heard it in here as well, though. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Looking up here, you see um, the crane and that's red crane. Okay. Bob Crane's the next one. And that's the other, that's the um, lower lighthouse you can see over there. Right. So, this is the main place where they worked. This room? Yeah. So, there were five or six lighthouse keepers and attendants that lived here. Three were on station at any one time. One person worked in here for eight hours a day. So they had in the winter, they had an arbor cooker over there where the radiation yeah. was. And um, they could cook their breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then they would have water, if you like showing it. They would turn it off because they would get in trouble. And they would have a dining room and a table and chair here. There was a big cupboard with all their bits and pieces. But literally, their job would be to look out to see if it was foggy. And if it's foggy, go all the way down the stairs. And then they have to start the, yeah. the, the compressor. And the compressor took 20 minutes to get going with oils and wheels and gears and things like that. So, yeah, so basically there were like weights and pendulums in there. Oh, this and is how they hoist things up. And that huge lens you saw. Yeah. There was a clock in the middle. And they had to wind it up every 75 minutes to keep it turning while it floated on the mountain. And it would take five minutes to wind it to the top non stop. Yeah. If you stopped it, it would just come all the way down. Oh, yes. Right. So it's five yeah. minutes to wind it all up, and, and you had to wind it up every 75 minutes. Yeah. Otherwise, you'd get a job. Yeah. Get sat. Yeah. Do you want to shut that for us? Yeah. And then over there, these are the original light bulbs. Yeah. So a thousand watt, which is really, really hot. You used to get black and sooty on the top, too hot to touch. Yeah. They were about 100 pounds in 1906, which was a lot, right? Yeah. And then they turned to gas filled ones. Do would these still work if you connected them in? Or? Yeah. 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 Fine. yeah. I mean, they, they were working until just a couple of years ago. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. So these extra steps are, are new? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, it is. Whoa. You look at Alison. That's all right. <laughs> if you walk around the side, and then we'll, I'll tell you what you're looking at, and we'll go It's amazing up there, isn't it? Yeah. There he, there he is. is. I don't know if you can see me. No. Hang on a minute. Mm -hmm. See if I can FaceTime him. <laughs> Lighthouse. Joe is somewhere in there. It's crazy. Walking around. Joe was literally up there, up in that top of the tower. He's got the camera, so he'll see the footage, but yeah. Hello. Hi. Yeah, I'm looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're all the way down there. Yeah. It reminds me of being up the Eiffel Tower a little bit. Just a bit That's of a... Took you around. You're kind of like, yeah, you're there. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in a bit. All right, see Bye. You in a bit. Bye. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, so you keep going around. Okay. So basically, obviously, this is the new light. So 60, we've got a spare one in case one goes wrong. Yeah. 64 lights are going around. If you look up on the um, cliff there, can you see a building with a mast above it, a white mast? Uh. Right on the cliff edge. Oh, is it like a square? Like a yeah. 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 So that is the coast watch. So they look out for danger like we used to. Right. And so if there's any problems, they bring the coast guard and then they bring help by land, sea, and air. So they they look out. Yeah. And 
and just next to you here on the outside, yep. this thing that's black with these two prongs. This is just here on the balcony here. Uh, oh, just this. Yeah, this. yeah, it looks like a bit like a TV area. Yeah. That sort of measures the uh, moisture in the air. So if visibility drops below a mile, it sends a signal that's connected by a blue wire to this, and this is the um, foghorn. That's the new fog horn. That's the fog horn, it kind of goes, Yee! Okay. Really annoying sound. <laughs> yeah, but that's the new fog horn. And um, this is the camera. This camera is connected to what I just showed you up on the cliff. Yeah. The coast watch, if they want to, they can move that around. It moves a bit like a rabbit. So they can see around. Yeah. And this is the um, fire escape. So basically, a fire escape here, you have two ropes, and you can go down the side and add sail down. Oh, they would just feed the ropes through that yeah, and lower yourself jacket, down. Oh, yeah, there's the hook so there. The two old uh, lighthouses. There's the lower lighthouse and the upper lighthouse at the lower. And uh, these crane, this crane is still operational. They put the boats in and out. It's incredible, though, isn't it? It is crazy. It is. Mm. But this obviously, does this rotate? It, used to rotate. it doesn't no more. It's just the light which yeah. now. I'll just have another look around. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go down. Yeah, no worries. Down, make sure you go down backwards. Down, like down, down the steps. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, no Alright, thank you. This is cool. So, at the top of my house. It's cool. Here you've got some fantastic views. It's amazing. But yeah, it's crazy. Never think I've ever been at the top of a lighthouse before, but I have today. Ryan is down the bottom with the dogs. So I'll see if I can see him. Um, don't know whereabouts he is. But I'm sure he's out there somewhere. But yeah. It's crazy. Sun's coming out as well. Look at that. Make my way back to Mind your head. Also, I got a free badge. It's cute. That's not even the top, there is another level. So, heading on down. Down, down, down. Make sure your legs feel a little bit like jelly. Look all the way. And I think I'm done. Back outside, that was cool. Look who's waiting for me. Hey yo, hey yo babies. <laughs> yeah, where have we been? Daddy been all the way out there. That was cool. Knackering. Yeah. But yeah. Just round like that, isn't it? Just round around in circles, but yeah, yeah it's quite cool. There's actually three lighthouses. There's one there, there's one over the top there as well. Yeah, we said that one there. Yeah. So, back outside, I probably need to take this coat off because I think I'm a little bit sweaty right now. But yeah, oh, you can see over there. See that over there? Yeah. Why it's white like that? Do you know why? Rocks. Yeah, there's rocks yeah. right underneath it. Do you know how many shipwrecks are actually underneath all of this? No idea. Hundreds. Oh, wow, yeah. There's hundreds of them. Look at me with my factual knowledge. Right. I might actually have a walk around now because I didn't get to really walk around. Yeah, I did put some footage on my phone, so... Okay, so yeah, Brian might film some more stuff while I'm here, walking it's around. It's shaky. Well, it's not so shaky. <laughs> yeah. Is it a bit shaky? I reckon it will be on the phone. Okay. Because I had these in my hand as well. You had the little pups on there. Ooh. Okay, right. Peace. So now that Joe's back, we're having a little wander around. Very rocky. Um, but Joe really enjoyed that tour. How much was it, Joe? Uh, it was £8.50. £8.50? £8.50 to go up. And it's a bit of a tour. And you get a, go you get a 
A guided tour, £8.50. And then you to actually get to go to the very top of the lighthouse. Oh, you get a badge. Where's the badge? Oh, you've shown the badge. See, I don't know. I wasn't there. It's getting very windy. It's beautiful views, though. Girls are loving it. She's just Yeah. There you go, that was Point and Bill. Yeah. That was cool. We are still here, we've just got back into the car. We are. But that is the end of our day yeah and it's the end of our weekend getaway sad time i've had a really nice time though oh yeah it's been amazing it's been really nice yeah um, nice yeah. and chilled seen some like done a few little bits i think and we've been so lucky with the weather the weather has been perfect yeah it's not been boiling but it's been very sunny and very dry yeah at least you know so and the girls have loved it. They are hanging. They are, they are absolutely hanging. Peggy's so. asleep in the footwell. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. So we're going to head back home now. Yeah. Um, a nice two and a half hour drive back to Bristol. Yay. Um, but if you've been watching, we, I don't know at this point if this is just going to be one long vlog or whether we'll break them up a little bit. But either way, if you've been watching, thank you so much. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Um, next week for you will be a brand new Disneyland Paris vlog series. Yes. Um, so yeah, so that would be next Sunday at 4pm. So make sure you tune in for that. But that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. So all that's left to be said is adios for me. Cheerio. Bye. Bye.